I'll tell you the plan for today. We're going to go to Jibran Khalil Gibran's museum in Pshare. Then we're going to go to the Cedars of God, Laris. We're going to have a walk in the forest. Then we go to Mar Antonius Haya Sant Anthony's monastery and it's in Hawa, yeah, it's in Hawa. Hawa is near Hachita Blauza, like in our region. We're having today a tour in our region. We're going to visit some of the places here. There's a lot of nice places here, but we're going to visit just three or four today. And we're going after lunch, so we don't have much time to visit a lot of places because they're closed at a certain time. in the town of Pshari in the north of modern-day Lebanon. As a young man, he immigrated with his family to the United States, where he studied art and began his literary career, writing in both English and Arabic. In the Arab world, Gibran is regarded as a literary and political rebel. His romantic style was at the heart of a renaissance in modern Arabic literature. Originally, a grotto for monks seeking shelter in the 7th century, the Marsarkis Saint Sergius Hermitage became Gibran Khalil Gibran's stump and was later turned into his museum. In 1926, while in New York, Gibran decided to buy the monastery for his retirement and the hermitage as his final resting place. Upon his request, his sister Mariana purchased both the monastery and the hermitage. On the 22nd of August 1931, Gibran's mortal remains reached Pshari. The transformation of the new monastery into a museum did not occur until 1975, when the Gibran National Committee restored the monastery and built a new wing in the east Eastern site. I've been here maybe more than 100 times, but the excitement never gets old. You can check Gibran's National Committee's website for more info and pictures of the museum because we can't film inside. forest of the cedars of god with its 375 trees is the last remains of antique forests and one of the rare sites where the cedars still grows it was highly prized in ancient times and was one of the most valued construction materials of great religious buildings and cited 103 times in the bible the cedar is the symbol of the country its pride and features prominently on the lebanese flag
هلا وين نحن؟ بالارز بالارز سيريز اوف جاد غابه الارز اه اكبر اتس اميزنج هير So now we're Say at Aris, the forest, yeah. the cedars of God. We got slushies and we were walking in this of Aris or of the cedars and we saw a dog when we were coming back to the car. We were scared so we ran to the car. I'm a little bit of slushies. Mmm. 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 And our last stop was the Monastery of St. Anthony the Great, Mar Antonius el Kabir. It's situated at a height of 950 meters above sea level in the celebrated valley of Ashaya, the living treasure. The pine trees and oak trees cover the great hills surrounding it. Fruit trees of every description grow all along the valley, which extends into the valley of Anubin to form the great Kadisha Valley, thus bearing witness to the history of aromatic life and the quest for holiness in Lebanon. On. Historians and scholars suppose that this monastery was first built and began to be occupied by hermits at the beginning of the 4th century. It was several times looted, set on fire and razed to the ground. According to certain sources, it was during the time of Patriarch Sergio Serrezzi that in 1584 the first printing press was introduced into the east and the Psalter was printed the first time in 1585. A second printing press was in Ashaya in 1610 and the Library of the Holy Spirit University of Kaslik conserve a copy from the Psalter printed in that year.